in Paris, we agreed to fund um, climate uh, adaptation and mitigation in balance. That's what we said in Article 9, Paragraph 4. But we haven't quite done that, and it is time to step up. I'm honoured to introduce this Champions Group on Adaption Finance, which reflects a real top priority for Ireland, channeling more and better finance to those on the front lines of climate change. Key message I want to give today to my colleagues from developing countries is that we've heard uh, your calls on adaption finance and we're responding. The group you see here today, which is Ireland, the Netherlands, the UK, Denmark, Sweden and Finland, are all bilateral finance providers who want to increase the, the, the quality, the quantity, the accessibility of climate adoption finance, particularly for least developing countries and for the small island developing states within both our own financing and global financing as a whole. Now, we are inviting other bilateral and multilateral financiers, uh, providers to join us if they share this commitment. And therefore, I'm particularly pleased today uh, and delighted to announce that Germany has announced its intention to join our group. Denmark will dedicate at least 60% of our grant-based climate finance to the adaptation. Adaptation is not a choice. With our announcement, Denmark has clearly shown that we are willing to walk the talk. And, look at, and looking at all of you here, I'm confident that together we can rise uh, the ambitions for more finance for adaptation. Sweden has increased our climate financing more than three times since 2014. We are the biggest contributor per capita to some of the most important climate funds, including those that focus exclusively on adaptation. Sweden fully supports the aim to achieve better balance in the allocation of finance for climate adaptation. And this is why Sweden joined this informal champions group on adaptation finance. By speaking directly with partner countries, we seek to overcome the current obstacles so that we can increase the quality, the quantity and access to adaptation finance. While national institutions and processes such as planning and budgeting are key, we also need to ensure voices on the ground are being heard. Women and other vulnerable groups must be involved. Finland is proud to have joined like-minded countries in the Champions Group on adaptation finance in this effort. Finance must work as much to protect as to prevent. This Champions Group will play an important role in making that a reality. So let's come together, redress the balance and protect the most vulnerable from the effects of climate change. There's still so much to do and that's why we were really keen to be part of, of this group and to be part of a coalition of partners who are keen to keep championing this issue, not just to COP, but beyond COP as well. As we get closer to COP26, I look forward to hearing more commitments to support climate adaptation from developed countries. Despite our respective differences, climate change will impact us all. We are pleased that our developed country partners um, and providers of climate finance have taken this very bold move to stand with climate vulnerable countries like Jamaica and other small island developing states across the world, and that they are responding to our priorities in this way. I must start with expressing my gratitude for all your leadership. You have finally heard our call, acknowledging that adaptation is not a choice, acknowledging the need for building resilience. It is great to hear from ministers about the emphasis on nature-based solutions, protecting and managing nature in a way that protects the planet and people. But I really enjoyed the emphasis on women and other marginalized groups, thinking of the most vulnerable. But the Champions Group on Adaptation Finance, which we are launching formally today at this event, should not remain a group of six or seven. Uh, we invite again other finance providers uh, to join us in this effort to increase the share of adaptation finance in your public climate finance. 
In conclusion, I'm really happy and I look forward to partner with you, members of the Champions Group, representatives of climate vulnerable countries, to really progress on those issues and to achieve an ambitious outcome on adaptation during the COP. I hope that many countries will follow the example that we have set that has now been joined by Germany because we can, because we must, and because we shall, because we have no time to lose.